Hello, everyone. I have a quick point to make. Often you will hear me say that internal linking is part of that page's optimization. And it's a really big part of optimization for each of your pages. Now, by internal linking, I mean linking within your own content. I'm not talking about navigation. Linking within your own content to other pages on your site or other posts on your site. That affects your on-page optimization to the page that you're linking to. Now, I'm talking about internal linking within your content, not the navigation. This particular site, do you see all of these green arrows? This particular site a few years ago was moved from one hosting to another hosting. When the hosting was migrated over, the new hosting company somehow shut off all content links. Now, how that hosting company managed to shut off all internal links, I don't want to get into the details. It was a mess. But all I know is we're working on a site. Everything's going good. This was a really good site that was growing and bringing in all kinds of business. All of a sudden, plummeted to the bottom in rankings. And I mean plummeted with all red arrows across. I didn't capture the red arrows picture because, frankly, I was in shock. We plummeted overnight. But I also knew we were in the middle of finishing up the migration. Now, I wasn't doing the migration. I wasn't in charge of the migration. However, I knew the migration had just ended. And so my first suspicion was, what the heck happened during the migration? And that's where we began to look for the needle in the haystack. Now, when we realized the internal links had been turned off or changed, and we went in to fix the problem, these are the green arrows that started to pop up on day one after the site had been crawled. Now, again, once a site is crawled, there is a timeline before you're given credit to internal links. It's not magic or overnight and it doesn't happen within 10 minutes but this was the first response that we started to see once we turned on internal links so my point to show you this picture is this was very dramatic let me tell you the client was very freaked out when we had all of those red arrows and he wasn't getting any more business i can't even tell you the immense amount of pressure the owner of the site was under or the amount of pressure that I was under to figure out what had just caused this. But when we turned it back on, we got all of these green arrows. Now, just to be dramatic and to make sure, I turned off the internal links again. And again, rankings completely plummeted. So if you don't think that interlinking within content matters or affects your rankings, think again. It really helps bolster your rankings and can even be the change that pushes you into first position. Now, all of that sounds very dramatic, but my point is never forget to internally link to your most important pages and even your homepage. I have a video on that about which pages we should be internally linking to. Don't forget that this is a very important ranking factor and often will determine who's in first position to who's in fifth position. And if you're doing it well, it will boost your current rankings. All right. I just wanted to show you how dramatic internal linking can be because when I evaluate sites, a lot of them have forgotten to internally link to their most important pages and they can't figure out why they're not in first position. You know, ranking in first position can be very competitive. So you got to pull out all the stops and you can't forget these little things on the side like internal linking. It should be a very big part of the picture and not a small part of the picture. All right. I'll see you in the next video.